presumably you are sitting alongside Miss Great Grimsby because you do still have an issue with beauty pageants am I right? I do I find them very dated and sexist and actually in this era when really we're talking about the last few years the kind of empowerment and movement and activism of women to go back to a time where we are still judging women really mm. about their physical body and not about their personality or their intelligence or their soul I find that really well, what's the difference between a beauty pageant and every single women's magazine in the world which puts very beautiful women on the front page. You don't see them put mingers on the front page, do you? You don't, Piers, and I think that's very sad. Yeah. Maybe we should be campaigning that they no, should. but I'm playing devil's advocate here. It's like... Perhaps we shouldn't describe anybody in using the phrase you just used. Well, it's a minger. <laughs> it's, a, it's a colloquial phrase. No, but here's my point. What is wrong with celebrating beauty? There's nothing wrong with celebrating why should, beauty. Why should we not have beauty but pageants? We, why should we not have that, magazines with beautiful women? When I mean, that's all tell we me celebrate. Why it's wrong. When that's all we celebrate for women, when we say that actually your value as a woman is down to what your dress size is, what you look like, what your hair does, and when we look at the women on the covers of those magazines, when mm. we look at the women in these beauty pageants, they are all one standard of beauty. They are all predominantly white. They're all predominantly the same size. They are all pretty much under 24. What happens to actually beauty being in the eye of the beholder? Where is the diversity within okay, these pageants? Okay, Laura, why is Harriet wrong, having learned what you've learned? I've gone into this pageant and there's been girls of all shapes, all sizes. I'm five foot three. I'm not exactly supermodel material. A lot of the girls were on the smaller side. There was bigger girls, there was smaller girls. Um, yeah, but you won. Because, it, because there was no stereotype. In 2017, we're still perpetuating a standard of beauty that was really at its height in the 1950s and 1960s. Where are the pageants that celebrate the intelligence or the careers of women or the activism of them? Where are those pageants? No, they are just about well, the beauty. So hang, on, well, hang on, let's pick you up on that. So what kind, you'd like to have, what, a pageant for oversized women? For intelligent women? Do you know what I mean? Maybe the, if you have one for intelligent women, do you have to have a pageant for stupid women? Uh, sure where, where, does the, have... where do you take your logic? I think what I'm saying is we don't have any diversity within these pageants and we also don't celebrate the fact that women are but whole said, rounded she people. She just said you do. She just said, literally just told you, and that in Miss Great Grimsby they have women of all sizes, all intelligence, I all different very characters. I had a look at the Miss Great Grimsby website and I was looking at the finalists. There was one girl on there, I think, who might have been more than a size 10, but the rest of them weren't. And I'm not saying that's, you know, you're bad not, you're, Grimsby, you're but crossing it's not, okay. No, there were, there were girls of all shapes and sizes. Uh, size 10 was probably, size 10 to 12 was probably the most common size in that pageant. Right, so there yeah. you are. Absolutely, so there you are. It's the average size. It's still what we're thinking of when we think of female beauty. We think of small, petite, thin, so If they were size white. 24, you'd be happy no I, I would be happy to see a range of diversity I would be happy to see people of different ages people of different colors mm. I'd be happy to see people who maybe aren't the conventional idea of big eyes small features no one's stopping you having a pageant like that go and have one I know I could but I'm not going to be taken <laughs> no, on from Miss England am I nobody wants to watch a pageant like that because actually and that's what's so something... sad Piers isn't it that nobody no, wants to watch a woman sad. if they're not there beautiful. is nothing wrong occasionally with just celebrating Beauty. But it's because I know the Guardian is like an offensive term. How <laughs> dare you be beautiful? Thou shalt be ugly. But actually, in the real world, there's nothing wrong with saying, let's just have a bit of harmless charity raising fun and celebrate good looking people. And so that is all that women hear. So that is why we see a rise in eating disorders. It's why we see a rise in mental health issues if for it was young so women, bad for women. Because it's how all we're come, telling them. If it's so bad for women in this country, and your theory is right, why is it the five most powerful people in Great Britain right now are all women? They How are. did that happen? How did that miracle happen? That's true. Until you look at the fact and say, OK, well, we have a female Prime Minister, congratulations, but we still have less than a quarter of female MPs. You know, we are still... Women are not on an equal footing with men when it comes to power. And that is because we still judge women primarily So the by one thing like. where women can win every time, a beauty <laughs> pageant, you want to shut down. <laughs> so the one thing where women can win every time... Yeah, but, but what, what I hear... Here's what I hear... That's really last sad, point about isn't it? it? Here's what, what I hear... if you don't identify as female Harry, male? here's my problem with this. Women always go on feminist, right? And I'm a feminist. Once I want to declare myself a feminist. Sure they always go on about thrilled. the point about being a feminist is the right of any woman to do what she likes. This young lady would like to enter a beauty pageant. You want to stop her exercising her feminist right to do what she wants with her body. 
How I can you equate that with the feminist mantra of women should be allowed to do what they like and be celebrated by other women? I'm not saying that Laura shouldn't enter, and she's obviously done an amazing job, and she's obviously a great representative of Grimsby and its town. But what I am saying is that I think in, nine, in 2017, it's very, very sad that we are still holding women in these kind of weird, archaic rituals to celebrate only their physical beauty.